This is TJ. In this video, I want to show you five programs for doing screen recording uh, or screencasting on a Linux computer. So these are programs that will work for Linux. They will not work on Windows or Mac OS. So if you're looking for something like that, check out my other videos um, where I sp show some similar programs for Windows users and Macintosh users. Um, or you can check out other download links and more information at my website, tjfree.com. But uh, these programs for Linux are Simple Screen Recorder, Kazam, Record My Desktop, Voco Screen, and VLC Media Player. Now VLC Media Player is the one that I'm using right now to record this part of the video. Um, I'm going to go through each one of these um, and you'll get to see each one of them in action. Um, but right now is VLC Media Player and it's the only one that's not recording audio at the same time as the video. I'm actually using Audacity to do that and then I'm going to uh, put the two together in post-processing. But, uh, so I'll show you a simple screen recorder. Oh, and I, I, did I mention all of these are completely free to download and use, um, as always. But, uh, so this first one, simple screen recorder. I'm going to go ahead and start a video with it. So you can, I'm going to record the entire screen for all of these examples, but you can record just a section of the screen too if you wanted to. Um, I'm also recording audio from a USB microphone that's the blue snowball microphone. And so I'll just go ahead and we'll start here. So, so now I am recording with a simple screen recorder and VLC media player. So I'll open a VLC media player and we'll just stop the recording I was doing there. And I'll stop the audio recording I was doing. So now the only thing I'm doing is a, re a recording with simple screen recorder. So this is what simple screen recorder looks like. Let's uh, open up the interface for Kazam. And uh, I would recommend Kazam if you're not sure what to go with. I would say start with Kazam, see what kind of results you get. Um, if the video and audio is out of sync or if it's not working, go to a different one. But I would start with Kazam. It has a very intuitive and easy to use interface. So I'm just going to do a screencast, full screen. I want to record the mouse cursor and I want to record audio from the microphone. I could also record the audio from the speakers if I was going to play some music or something in the background. And then I'm going to want to wait two seconds before the capture begins so I can get ready. So I'll click capture. Two, one. Now, now I'm recording. recording using Kazam. I'm also still recording using Simple Screen Recorder, so I'm going to open up that one and I'll stop that recording. So now the only recording I have is I'm recording right now with Kazam. And then I'll show you the interface for Record My Desktop. This is Record My Desktop. You have options for video quality, sound quality. You've got advanced options over here for um, different types of things. And I'm just going to tell it where to save the file. I'll call it RMD in my videos folder and then I'll click record. So now I'm recording with record my desktop. This is what the video and audio quality will look like for record my desktop. Um, I'm going to stop the recording with Kazam. So now Kazam is done and the cool thing about Kazam when it finishes it gives you the option to just send it straight over to a video editor. So I would send it to KDEN Live and then I can edit the beginning or the end or if I wanted to add some music or something in the middle I could do that but I'm just going to save it for later since I'm going to be putting all of these in an editor anyway uh, and I'll just call it what it wants me to call it and so right now we're still recording with record my desktop and then I'll show you Voco screen so Voco screen is pretty cool it has this option you can do magnification following the mouse cursor um, it also has an option for webcam I haven't played with that yet but I think it lets you do a webcam like in the corner of your video like over top of your screencast I'm going to be doing the full window these are just the uh, codec and the, the audio and video options. So I'm going to start. Also, I have two seconds. So, so now I'm recording with Voco screen. I'm also still recording with Record My Desktop. So I need to open that one up. And I'll go stop. So the thing about Record My Desktop is when it finishes, it has to encode. And it takes kind of a long time. Um, but it makes it a nice f um, small file size for uploading to the internet, like to YouTube. So that's pretty nice. In fact, all of these, Simple Screen Recorder, Kazam, and Record My Desktop, and VLC Player do nice, small, um, compact file sizes. Voco Screen, which is the one that I'm doing the recording I'm, right now, I'm recording the screencast using Voco Screen right now, um, it has a large file size. It'll be about five or sometimes ten times as large as the rest of these. Um, so just something to keep in mind. But yeah, they're all great. Uh, options and then I'll just show you we started out with VLC media player so I'll just show you how to capture with it it's not really a screen capture tool it's a media player 
but if you go to open capture device you can go down to desktop and you can capture uh, whatever's on the desktop so I'll set the frames to 15 frames per second if I click play right now it'll just sh it'll just play it in the media player but I want to stream it to a file so I go to stream then I go file and I tell it where that file is so if it was going to be here I just say file test and then the w what kind of codecs I want to use and then I would just click if I click stream right now it will do another video with uh, using VLC media player well there you go there you have it so we still have record my desktop encoding this final video but you have now seen examples of audio and video using all of these programs um, so yeah download them check them out for yourself like I said try one if the video or audio is kind of out of sync or if you don't like the quality then try another one but for for Linux using all of these uh, you should be able to find something that's going to be make you pretty happy oh just one more thing I'm going to show you I'm using kubuntu 14.04 I have four gigs of RAM and a dual core older processor. This is like a six or seven year old machine, so nothing too fancy. So you should be able, your laptop or your, your desktop should be able to keep up with recording. Um, yeah, well, thanks for watching this video. Uh, you can find download links at tjfree.com. And uh, yeah, like, subscribe, comment, get involved, and check out my other videos.